Hello everybody, I'm here today to talk about this website I really like, it's called What to Learn. Uh, so the first thing you have to do is type www.whattolearn.com and you will get to this page here. Now, when you get here, I, I advise you to take a look at the page, uh, explore it a little bit. Uh, they have printables, they have activities, they have games that are, are ready, that, that were made by other teachers. But what I want to show you today is how to create your own game, uh, which will be specialized uh, by the book that you're using, the material that you're using. You can create a material, a game, that is specific for what you're working on. So, you click on that, make a create a game, and you see they have several templates here. Several templates, and here, what kind of game would you like to make? Hangman, word search, anagram, questions and answers, multi-choice. So what I want now is a, a, a hangman. I want to work with specific words because they are very young learners. They're seven, eight years old. So I, would, I, uh, I like this one, so the safari survival. I, I choose and I click here, make game. It's very fast. Um, first thing I do is I choose the name for my, my game. I'm going to say alphabet fun one which is the name of the book so what they what are they learning they're learning the alphabet and specific words for each letter example a apple b ball so i'm going to talk about these words here i'm going to write them egg what else fish, game, hat, and I create the game, I click here, create a game. That's all you have to do, if you can believe your game is ready. Now what I like about this site, are the options you have. You can play the game, you can share the game with the world. And this is what I like the most. You can see this course, your students getting this game. I suggest you to take a look at this option here, exploit it a little bit. It's very interesting in case you want to assign these exercises as homework. Now, this is the game, it's ready. Uh, and how does this specific game work? You see, it's a hangman. But it's a little different because if I make a mistake, if I choose the wrong letter, the lion will come and will eat the zebra. So the students, they really panic. They try to avoid because they don't want the zebra to be eaten. So, let's see. Oops. So there you go. Uh, on this side here, they offer the embed code. With this code here, small, medium, or large, you choose the size you want. You can just copy, copy, and paste it into, uh, into your blog. But what I want to do now is insert this game into my PowerPoint presentation. Uh, why is this important? Because well, first of all, it's a good way to organize your classes, uh, organize all the games you have, and you don't uh, you, you don't depend on the internet for the class. And this is very good. We, we, we want to be safe. So I'm going to choose. I can choose a small, medium, or large. I'm choosing a medium template. And. First, I go to Microsoft Word or a Notepad. Why? Because all I need is this part here, okay? What to learn, games, 
Main bed and the number. Actually, I need HTTP as well. So I select this and I copy. That's all I need. Then I go to Microsoft PowerPoint. Now it's important to say that my PowerPoint is 2007. If you have 2003, you, you have to adapt. So I go here. First of all, I have to go here. And I click on Options. And then here, Mostrar Guia Desenvolvedor, the developer. I have to show the developer on my toolbar. And click on OK. And this option will appear for you. Desenvolvedor, developer. I click on that and I'm looking for this icon here, the hammer, the hammer and the, um, I don't know what else is that. Anyway, you look for that, you click and you look for the option, you have to look for the option shockwave. Where is the shockwave flash object? Okay. You draw it in here, like a little envelope. You click with the right button and go to properties. Here you go, you select movie and you type here, you paste here actually the link. Remember, you had just copied from Microsoft Word. And pretty much that's it. If you press F5, your game will appear right here. You see? It's the game. Isn't it easy? Very hands-on. Well, I like it very much. I hope you like it too.